everyone, I'm Yoga Jessie, and thanks for joining me for another Books Move Me Yoga Adventure. Today we'll be reading and moving to Snowman All Year, written by Carolyn Buner and pictures by Mark Buner. Let's get started with a special yoga breath. I like to call this one winter breath, but it's also known as window fog breath. And let me tell you why. Sometimes when you go out into very cold air and you breathe, you can see your breath like a cloud. Or if you're somewhere close to a window and you put your breath up close to the window, it makes kind of like a cloud or fog on the window. So for winter's breath, we're gonna take our hand up close to our mouth. We're going to take a deep breath in through our nose and let it all out through our mouth like we're fogging up a window. Did you feel how warm your hand gets? Let's try it again. Take your hand up close to your mouth. Deep breath in through your nose. Nice job. Winter's breath can be used if you need to warm up your hands or also if you just need a break and need to settle down. Let's keep warming up our bodies by coming into table pose. Come on your hands and knees and spread your fingers really wide. We're going to start here in table pose and then look up towards the sky, arching your back so your belly comes down towards the mat into cow pose. Look up towards the sky and let me hear your best cow sound. Moo! Then tuck your chin towards your chest and push your spine up towards the sky for cat pose and say meow. Look up to the sky for cow. Moo! And tuck your chin, cat. Meow! And one more time, cow. Moo! Nice. Now we're going to keep our hands right where they are. Sit back on our feet into puppy pose. And we're going to bounce here like this. Pup e pose! Try it again. Pup E pose. And one more time. Pup E pose. Then turn your toes under. Stretch your tail up towards the sky. Look back towards your toes or down to the mat. For downward dog and give me three big dog barks. Woof, woof, woof. Then come back down onto your knees and come all the way up to a tall kneel. We're gonna learn a new pose called catching snowflakes. I'm gonna turn back to the side so you can see what I'm doing. But for this pose, we're gonna take our hands and rest them behind our back, right about where our pants would end. Then we're going to look up towards the sky, arch back and imagine snowflakes are falling all around us. Stick out your tongue and see if you can catch some. Good. That's a nice back bend for your spine. See how many snowflakes you can catch this time. Lean back. Stick out your tongue. How many did you catch? All right, friends. Let's get ready to read. First, we're gonna warm up our ears. Take your fingers like little pinchers. Let's start at the bottom of your ear and just rub gently, squeezing along the edge all the way up to the top. And when you get to the top, rub all the way back down. That way our ears will be ready to listen to the story. Then rub your hands together and make two circles. Bring those circles up to your eyes. Look around and make sure your eyes are ready to look at the pictures. 
and then reach your arms out to the side. Take a deep breath in, make a giant circle above your head and then let all the air out. <sighs> Try one more, breathe in and out. <sighs> I think we're ready for our story. Our story today is Snowman All Year, written by Carolyn Buner, pictures by Mark Buner. Looking at the cover, there's a snowman jumping rope. Have you ever seen a snowman jump rope before? <laughs> and the title is All Year. And looking at the pictures, we have kind of a snowy scene and then a sunshine and some flowers. Hmm, I've never seen a snowman and flowers before. I love to build a snowman on freezing winter days, but when the sun is bright and warm, my snowman melts away. There's nothing but a puddle when my snowman disappears. If only he were magic and could stay with me all year. That would be pretty neat. If your snowman could stay all year long, I'd teach him how to fly a kite high above the trees. Then we would dig for pirate gold or sail the seven seas. Let's start by being the kite. Come all the way up to standing and bring your feet together. Imagine you're standing very tall and straight like the line that goes down the center of a kite. Then bring your arms out to the side, because kites also have a line that goes side to side. Good. Now, in order to fly our kite, we're going to use our balance. So get a little soft bend in your knees. And then we're going to lift up one foot and bring it out to the side as we tip like our kite flying in the air. And then come back to the middle and lift the other foot out to the side like you're flying in the air. Great job. He wanted him to fly kites, but also to play pirate ships in a boat. And looking at our picture, what is that pirate ship made out of? Yeah, it's just a cardboard box and some other things from inside the house. I think he's using his imagination. Let's do the same. Start by putting your feet out in front with your knees bent. We're going to come into boat pose. Take your hands and tuck them under your knees and lean back just a bit. Now, try lifting one foot up off the ground. You might get wobbly and that's okay. Then if you feel ready, lift the other foot up off the ground and see if you can balance. Nice job. Let's take it a little bit further and start to row our arms. And then let's sing a song I think you know called Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh look, the snowman is now at the zoo. I know that he would love to see the tigers at the zoo. Look at that water fountain. And at my birthday party, we would celebrate his too. Let's be the tiger from the zoo. Come on to your hands and knees. We're gonna be a big cat. So for this one, I want you to reach one leg back behind you. Good. Then find the hand on the other side of your body, not the same side, but the opposite, and reach that hand forward for tiger pose. Give me a roar. And then switch. 
reach the other leg back behind you and the arm on the opposite side goes forward. Roar! We'd go on all the wildest rides at the amusement park. Oh wow, look at that roller coaster. But best of all would be the fireworks lighting up the dark. Come up to standing for firework pose. Have you ever seen fireworks? They're big and bright and oh, so loud. We're gonna make some fireworks today. Start by bringing your hands to your heart. Now, we're gonna set the firework up into the sky. And by doing that, we're going to take a deep breath in and shoot it up, making that quiet sound all the way up to the sky. When we get to the top, will clap like the boom of the firework. And then the beautiful, colorful sparkles start to fall down in the sky as we say, ah. Let's try it again. Start at your heart. Deep breath in. Ah. Let's do two in a row. Here we go. On stormy evenings, I would play my favorite games with him. On sunny days, I'd teach him how to dive and how to swim. Uh oh, what would happen if a snowman went into a swimming pool? Yeah, he would melt. Come back up to standing. We're going to dive into that swimming pool. So start with your feet together. Close your eyes and imagine you're at the edge of the diving board. Good. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. And then as you let all the air out, imagine you're diving with your arms out to the side all the way down into the water and let your whole body hang down towards your toes. Then roll back up all the way to the top. Shoulders come up towards your ears and then down to the side. Let's try it again. Deep breath in, reach up. And then out to the side, dive down, down, down to your toes. And roll all the way back up. <sighs> On summer evenings in the dark, we'd chase fireflies or sleep out in the quiet woods beneath the starry skies. Have you ever gone camping and slept outside beneath the starry skies? Let's be the stars and the moon. Come up to standing and stretch your feet wide arms out to the side. A star often has five points when you draw it, just like we do. One, two, three, four, five. So take a deep breath in and stretch your star as big as you can. And then let it relax. Good, try it again, deep breath in. And then let's come into a crescent moon. You might see that if you're camping outside. Reach your hands up high and put the palms of your hands together. A crescent moon is like the little sliver of a moon. And we're going to take our hips and tip them out to one side as the top of our body goes the opposite direction for crescent moon pose. Breathe in and go the other direction. Breathe in, one more time each way, and last one. At 
the beach, we'd play all day, he'd get very sandy. We'd trick or treat on Halloween and bring home lots of candy. The boy is dressed like a dinosaur and the snowman looks like he's the sheriff. Maybe this is magic snow that will not disappear. And this snowman will be the one to stay with me all year. Do you think the snowman really came alive? Or do you think the boy was just using his imagination? I love using my imagination just like in the story Snowman All Year. Have you built a snowman this year? Do you wish he could come alive and stay with you all year long? What would you share with your snowman? Let's end our time together by reaching our arms out to the side. Take a deep breath in, and bring your hands together and grab a piece of the sunshine and bring it down to your heart. Blow it out like a candle. And we'll end with the word namaste, which means the light and everything good and happy inside of me sees the light and everything good and happy inside of you. Namaste. And thanks for joining me for this Books Move Me yoga adventure. See you next time. <laughs>